Hey there, my name is Alexandra and in this video I'm going to give you a tutorial of how our platform works and how you will collaborate with our freelancers. Stick around as I'll be walking you through the steps of how to invite freelancers to your orders, how to communicate with them, how to review your order as it's being worked on, and much more. Here's a quick tutorial on how to navigate the platform homepage. Let's start from the left hand side of the platform. All of your active and fulfilled orders can be found under the order management tab from the left sidebar. The active sub tab will display your current active orders and the history sub tab will display your fulfilled orders. Under team management, you can create a team and invite freelancers to be a part of your team. With that, you also get access to the channels page under messages where you can create private or group channels with your team members. Under tools, we have our delivery calculator where you can calculate approximately how long you can expect a project to take from start to finish. Under messages, you can easily find the chats from your active orders as well as any private or group channels with your team. Post a project is a new feature that we have officially launched and is now available to all users. This feature allows you to create and pay for your orders directly from our platform. In the top right hand corner, you can find your account settings and platform notifications related to new project messages and project status updates. Hey everyone, in this tutorial video, I'm going to showcase several platform features that will help you in getting your project started and ready for publishing. If this is your first time working with us, your project will likely go into the needs verification status. This status indicates that you will be required to upload a picture of your government issued photo ID to the platform account. Open up the project item that has the needs verification status to learn what the next steps are. These information bubbles have been added to assist you during the process. To upload your ID for verification, navigate to your account settings in the top right hand corner of the platform. Upload your photo ID to this section and wait for an admin to verify it. It may take up to 24 hours for our admin team to do so. Once your ID is verified, you'll get a platform notification and the status of your project will also change to the new status. The best way to acquaint yourself with our platform and what exactly is included with your projects is by clicking into each one of them and exploring the project page. The project page will detail the package type, the number of revisions, and your freelancers once they've been assigned to your project, among other details. You'll also be able to view the start date of your freelancer here, as well as your expected delivery date, which might change during the process. You can also modify your project details by clicking on the Modify Order button. Keep in mind that you can only do so before a freelancer is assigned to your project. Once they are assigned, you can notify admin in the chat if any project details need changing. You'll notice that certain items within your project will remain on hold while others are moved into procession right away. This is done purposely so that your projects are completed in an orderly fashion one after another. Certain projects, however, allow you to move them into procession all on your own. Others, you will need the help of our admin team in the platform. Don't worry though, our admin team is ready to assist you at any point in the process via the chat or email and you can expect to hear back from them within the same business day. If you wish to move a project into procession that is currently on hold, Simply open up the project and click on the resume button. Now let's show you how to get your project assigned to our freelancers, otherwise known as urbanites. Navigate to the Order Management tab from the left sidebar and click on Invite Freelancers. This will lead you to our search page where you will be able to browse our talented urbanites and find the perfect fit for your projects. 
From the Invite Freelancers page, make sure that you apply the right tags to get a filtered list of qualified freelancers. If you know the name of the freelancer you wish to collaborate with, change the search option to search by name in the top right corner and look up your freelancer. If we're searching by tags, start by selecting which freelancer you're looking for. In this scenario, we're looking for a writer to start on the plot outline collaboration. Moving on, these tags relate to our non-fiction tiers which are not going to be relevant to our fiction project. In the niches section, select the fiction and contemporary romance tags. Once you're ready, click apply. The platform will now filter through our freelancers and pull up only a list of the writers qualified based on your selected tags. If you're confident that they are the perfect fit and you're ready to invite them to your order, click on the invite to order button. You'll notice that certain options will be grayed out. This means that the freelancer is not qualified to work on these specific items in your project. Feel free to send them a message with your invite. When you're ready, click on the invite button. View your pending order invites via the Invites button under Order Management. If at any point you want to cancel your order invite, click on the X to confirm cancellation. Follow the same process of inviting freelancers to your projects once they are in procession and in the new status. Another way to have freelancers assigned to your projects is by accepting their requests on the orders directly. Here is an example of one. You'll get a notification when a freelancer has requested to work on your project. Click on the notification to be brought to your project and review the pending requests via this button here. You can view their profiles again by clicking on the View Profile button. Once you're happy with your choice, go ahead and approve their request. Now you have a freelancer assigned to your project and you can get the project started. Let's explore the project page and what features are available to you. While your project is in the on hold or new status, you can modify your project details as needed. Once an urbanite is assigned, however, the Modify Order button will no longer be available. On the project page, you'll have access to the following tabs, Document, Chat, Order Details, and Shared Files. The Document tab will lead you to the Document View page, which will display your project as it is being written. While your project is being written, feel free to make use of the Document Comments feature if you want to request any changes. Use the plus symbols to leave a comment. Each comment will then get stored in the document comments page where you will be able to review and either approve or reject the changes made by your freelancer. If you want to have your content read out loud, click on the audio icon in the corner. The chat tab gives you access to communication with your assigned freelancers as well as admin. Type the at symbol to tag the user you wish to reach. The order details tab will include the details you inputted when you initially placed your order. And the shared files tab allows you to upload any additional files that you may have forgotten to upload when you placed your project or if you need to share anything with your freelancer during the process. Select the Upload File button in the corner and choose the file you want to share. If your freelancer is ever in need of an extension to complete your project, you'll receive a platform notification notifying you. The Extension Request button will also appear on the project page. Click on it to review the number of days requested as well as the reason. The Extensions History button will also display the history of extensions on this specific project. 
we hope this helps you get started on the platform. We can't wait to get started on your new project and look forward to helping you create the top-notch content you need. If you still have questions about our platform, don't hesitate to get in touch with one of our customer success agents by phone or email. They will be more than happy to help.